Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's see how exactly the process of excretion happens because now we are aware of all the four important parts of the excretory system. So the first thing that happens is all the wastes are excreted in the form of urine. Now what are the wastes inside our body? The wastes could be any nitrogenous waste like urea or maybe ammonia which got converted into urea. So all these waste products are excreted in the form of urine. So how is urine formed and where is it formed? So the urine formation process takes place in the kidneys. Now there is a complex process involved in the process in the formation of urine. So you will learn about it in your higher classes, maybe in class 11. If you are interested to know, you can refer uh, the video on excretory system of class 11. So there I have explained the entire process of urine formation in detail. So this urine formation takes place inside the kidneys and then the urine moves through the ureters that is these tubes and finally reaches the urinary bladder where it is stored temporarily and finally when the feeling of urination comes which is often termed as micturation. So that's why you will feel that whenever your bladder becomes full, you feel like urinating. You feel like going to the washroom and give, releasing out the urine. So when you get that feeling, then the urine is finally released from the urinary bladder and it is released out through the urethral opening. So that's how the process of excretion takes place. So it is not only the kidneys which act as excretory organs, there are a couple of other organs which also act as organs of our excretion. So firstly kidneys of course, other than this lungs also act as excretory organs, liver, skin, these organs also act as excretory organs. Now when we talk about skin, have you ever observed when we sweat, when we get very tired or uh, in a hot summer afternoon, we tend to sweat a lot. So what is sweat? Sweat is a watery fluid which is seen on the surface of our body. So that is also one way of excreting stuffs because sweat also contains a lot of salts and a lot of unwanted materials which are excreted out of the body. The sebaceous glands or the oil glands. So if you see uh, the scalp of your head, so it is quite oily. Why is it oily? Due to secretion of the oil glands. So you see here, these are the oil glands and their secretions are on the surface. So this is the gland, but it is connected with the tube to the surface. So the secretion from these glands, which is oil, comes to, is observed on this surface. So oil glands, so, so here we got get to know that sweat also helps us. How? By helping in excretion. Now, Sweat is more commonly seen during summers. Now have you ever observed, now what exactly is sweat? It is a salty liquid on our skin produced by the sweat glands. Now my question is how do you know that sweat is salty? Now I do not advise you to taste and see if it is salty or not. But yes, I can give you another uh, proof uh, stating that it is salty. Now have you ever observed that during summers when you sweat a lot, it often happens that especially on clothes which are dark in color, you can see a, see some white patches. Some white marks are left on dark colored clothes. So what are those white marks? Those white marks are nothing but they denote the presence of salt in your sweat. So sweat contains a lot of salts and other unwanted materials of which the body wants to get rid of and that's how Sweat helps in excretion. In fact, you will be uh, surprised to know that there are almost 2 to 4 million sweat glands in a person's body. So can you imagine that? A huge number, right? 2 million to 4 million sweat glands. So sweating is nothing but a natural way of our body to control the temperature. So when we sweat, we feel less hot. So it helps to keep us cool also. Now, sweat is commonly found uh, on in the underarms area, palms of hand, uh, on feet. So these are the common places where you see a lot of sweat. Sweat also happens more during hot weather, after doing some heavy exercise or when you are feeling nervous or angry. So these are some of the situations where, where you experience more sweat. So 
basically uh, with this discussion on excretion we get to know that even during excretion we see that it is very important that various substances get transported to the right place so that they can be excreted out of the body. For example, all the wastes from different parts of the body should be sent to the kidneys because kidneys are the place where the real urine formation take place so that all the waste products can be thrown out of the body through the urethra along with urine. So that's how we saw that excretion is also an example of transportation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.